Hello, everybody. We're back here. Hope you're all doing good. Hope everybody's doing good. We got a mythical to start out with. Let's hope that we can get that great one today. Because uh, this kill right here, 6,869. Sheesh. Too many bears, man. Too many bears. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know, right, Marky? How's it going, dude? Uh, Alex, Steven, Cole, Chancellor, C Plays, Draco, El Reno, God God RPG, uh, Skeet Shooter, Inna Saunders, That Hunter. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. Hopefully the great one will be doing great today. Hopefully he'll be doing so great that he shows up. That would just be incredible. That's one kill on the board. Got a diamond red deer. Make a multi-man with a piebald female I got in that diamond. Nice. Awesome. That's awesome, dude. Nice. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. Teddy and the bears. Oh my gosh. I get it. <laughs> get it. Teddy and the bears. Like Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt elk. Bears. Teddy bear. Oh my gosh. EW. What are you doing to me? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Still calling 6969? It could be. That might be when we get the big mail. You never know. Hey, Eli, how's it going, man? Probably 70. Yeah, probably it'll be 69, 70. You know, just to throw us off. Just so we're like one off of what we were hoping for. There's the bear. If the fabled spawns at 69, 69 bears, that would be the most legendary moment in gaming history. Yeah, it'd be pretty incredible. Hey, Eli, how's it going, dude? If you guys are a member to the channel, be sure to drop the fabled emote. Let's get that luck going. Hopefully we can get a great one from the luck that you guys give us. Oh, nice, Johnny. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're playful little kittens. Why don't I have Hunt Club missions? It's been two weeks. Do you have it disabled, Zbon? That's the only reason that you wouldn't get it is if you have it disabled. If you don't have it disabled, I would say that's probably a bug. Oh, I know, right, Chris? That's kind of how I'm feeling, too. I'm just like, please don't make this a 10k kill grind. If it's a 10k grind, I don't know if I can make it to the end of it. What time is it for me? It's currently 12.03. Just barely noon. Holy. About 45 kills into the Great One Whitetail grind and no diamond. Is it normal? Uh, yes, that's normal farming fleet. On average, diamonds are every 100 to 150 kills, like somewhere in that range. But at the end of the day, it's pretty random. Herd management will definitely increase the chances, though. So if you're doing herd management, you'll definitely have a better chance of getting more of them. Uh, but it's a slow burn like it starts out with you're just getting diamonds like normal like every hundred kills or so and then um, As you get further into things You'll start noticing they pop up more Yours are like 50 without herd management 
I would guess that that probably means that your map already had a lot of low levels. Because, I mean, everybody's map gets, like, a different setup of animals, right? I would imagine that you probably just started out with more low levels, so the game is just naturally giving you more diamonds. There we go. I know, right, J-Dog? Gotta love it. I know I want to not be able to see the Great One's fur when it spawns. I love night hunting. It's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, Black Bear is probably one of the toughest Great Ones. In terms of, like, just getting lots of kills... I think kill count wise, Red Deer take longer, but Black Bear are at nighttime and barely show up to their zones on time, so it makes it so Bear ends up taking more hours to actually get. So yeah, the Bear is probably the toughest overall, even though it's slightly lower kill counts than Red Deer on average. There's no way I could do that, that Hunter. I mean, sometimes I take 30 minutes just to get close enough to an animal to take it with a bow. There's no way I could do, like, a multi-mount build in 60 minutes with a longbow. You know, you don't see it in videos because a lot gets cut out, but... There's a lot of, like, crawling on the belly that goes into even getting close to an animal. No, Ollie, we just started. We just started. We've killed, like, six bears. So we, we have not got that far into the stream so far. They barely show up on time. You're not wrong there, Jaden. That's true. Barely. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, Jesse. Like, there's a few times where I'm just, like, desperate for one, and so I start thinking that stuff is a great one. Like, I had a blonde trick me into thinking it was a fabled spirit the other day. And I also had, like, a outline of a bear through a tree make me think that it was a great one. Because it looked like, uh, it looked really big. Turned out that it wasn't, though. There we go. Here, another. <laughs> there we go. Another mythical down. These mythicals. Oh, 2255. That's a huge mythical. Hey, Mr. Legend, how's it going? I'm glad that you like the, uh, glad you like the lodge. Appreciate having you here. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, Nate. Pretty much. That's how it be. That's how it be, right? What gun am I using? 338. Bolt action. Hey, Ika, how's it going? No great one today. Hopefully it'll show up, though. Hopefully we'll get it later today in this stream. That's a good start. That's a good track. Big boy bear. Oh, it is, Edward. It's tough. It's a tough grind. We got this, though. We got this. It's just about persistence. We just gotta keep going. No, it's not, Sports Edit. It's not. I know every bear that's on my map. There's no great one, sadly. We've been cycling through the same five respawns for over 2,000 kills now. The same five respawns between these two lakes. Mythical. And a seven. So yeah, there's none on the map. This bear grind might honestly be the grind that I've been able to keep the closest track of, like, what's on my map. How many kills am I at again? Uh, with those two, 6,879. Ah. <laughs> enough to make somebody go insane
Yeah, the herd management is working great. We're getting a diamond bear every like 20 to 30 kills on average. So yeah, the herd management's working really good. Brother was hunting pronghorn and he messed up a level four diamond. Oh no. Level four diamonds are not that common, so that's that's sad to hear. That's very unfortunate. I do J Dog, but it's really outdated. It's from before they reworked the bear like locations. So I don't have any like up to date bear herd management guide. But to be honest, bear herd management is pretty easy. It's just shoot the fives and above, leave the four and below. And go to literally every body of water on Silver Ridge because they can be everywhere. Four. Ew. A level four. In my main zones? Unheard of. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kind of like Red Deer. Yeah, it's basically like Red Deer, except you got to look in like a bazillion places. Three. Holy. Not what I was hoping to see. Not looking for fours and threes, you know? Hope, hoping for something better, but I guess fours and threes is what we got right now. You know, that just means that we'll get uh, tens and tens, right? Uh, we we got to get the small males before the big males. That's just how it works. Ah, yes, that reminds me, Cole. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Zevin, thank you for the 10 months. Really appreciate it, dude. You must trust the process. What process? The not getting anything? <laughs> that seems about right. Oh, I, I for sure am, Ollie, at this point. It's like, when will this end? Please, bears, just spare me. Spare me! Six thousand eight hundred and eighty-three. What fur type do I want most? Fabled Chestnut. With uh, Fabled Cream and Fabled Spirit being like my second and third choice. Apparently, Honk. Apparently. Use the muzzle loader on the great one. No, 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 not after what we saw with that thing. No way. The last thing I would want to do is use the muzzle odor on it. I'm just going to use 338. Yeah, Brennan, melanistic ibex are rare. Pretty much anything melanistic is rare. Unless it is a Euro rabbit. That's the only time it's not rare. Because I believe Mela Euro Rabbits are uncommon. Nice gaming stuff, that's awesome. Mythical and a six, okay, not bad. Okay, we got it. We're good. I was a little worried that I might have missed. Kill count? 6,885, Nicholas. It's It's been rough.
Oh my gosh, these bears, man. Twenty two forty four is huge for a mythical, though. We're getting a lot of big mythicals. Nice, Jackie. I hope you have some good luck there. Hey, Chip, how's it going? Uh, yeah, when we get done with the stream, I will. For sure. I, I don't think I'd really be able to do something like that, that hunter. I mean, it wouldn't even get full score on any of them. What time am I hunting the bears? Uh, from 23 to 24. Yeah, or 23 to 0, whatever you want to call it. But they start at 20, technically. It's just... They get in their zones quicker if you go later in their time. Connor, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing amazing. <laughs> mythical again. Big boy seven. Big boy mythical. Big boy seven. Oh my gosh, there's just... They're all huge this time. Oh, it's got to be a good sign, right? Every single one of those, max weight estimate. We only got two as well. Uh, we only got two of them. Twenty-two oh six. Hoping we could get all four, but it didn't work out. We hit this one twice by accident. Great one sign, maybe. How many great ones do I have? Currently thirty-two, but none of them are bear. You'd think that with that many great ones, I could get a bear great one, but nope. Old crow can't get that bear. That bear is just rude. Yeah, exactly, Schrader. That, that, I like to think of it that way, you know? He's sending out all of the sevens, eights, and nines first. And then he'll pop out as a ten and just shock the world. Because he's got to give you the big males so it's, you're, you're like you're happy with the big males. And then he rolls up and he's like, yeah, but I'm, I'm better. Ha <laughs> ha. I like to think that's what the... Uh, Great one bear is trying to do, you know. Another mythical respawn from one of those mythicals. That's crazy. Three big males down. So that's going to be five giants in a row. Wow. That's crazy. We're about to have five max weights in a row. That's crazy. 2134. That's a small mythical, but it's still a mythical. Ah, uh, yeah, Chris, for sure. This is, this is the rudest bear that you will ever meet. Extra rude. He is an extra rude dude. Twenty-one sixty-four. So yeah, those were smaller mythicals, but still mythicals. Yeah, for sure, Johnny. They they all show up really late for some odd reason. Crazy. I suppose it is what it is, though. What's more rare, a great one or a level eight diamond bear? Oh, level 8 diamond bear would be way more rare. 
I mean, we're talking about something that's never been found in that case. Level 8 bear is something that- or level 8 diamond bear is something that's never been found, but technically could exist. According to Jaxy Beard himself during one of the streams, like... It's possible for you to get a level 8 diamond bear. But it's so rare that we've never seen anybody do it. He just has 6. We're moving down a little bit, you know? We, we had a lot of big males there for a second, now we got an average male. Oh man. These bears have been crazy to grind. Like at this point, I just, I don't even know what to, what to say. This has just been an up and, up and down grind. We're about to hit 6,900. We're literally 7 kills off of 6,900. I didn't miss anything while you were gone, Riley. We got a ton of big mythicals and sevens, though. Like, we had five max weight estimates in a row. We're just hoping that that's gonna trigger a great one spawn or something. Uh, yeah, James. I've done a couple videos with Lady, actually. Or one video and a couple live streams back in the day. <laughs> Never gets old watching them drop. Currently getting your PC fixed right now, so you're on your Xbox, not used to no perks or skills. Oh, I feel you on that, man. I've done a few different, like, you know, restarts of different accounts for different series, and you never get used to not having perks and skills. Like, we get so used to it that we get so used to the perks and skills that whenever we're stuck without them, it's like, oh gosh, what can I do? Crazy to see, like, just how much we rely on stuff like that to help us play this game efficiently. Wondering if there is a great one bear. Oh, I know. Me too. Me too, man. I'm wondering the same. That sure ain't the great one bear. That's a big track. Okay, we got a big boy track here. Nice. We got a big boy track. Great one will be it. Don't say that, Doobie. Don't say that. Don't jinx us. I don't want it to take that long, man. I prefer to keep my sanity, you know? I prefer to keep my sanity. Great one at 7632. I hope it's sooner, but I'll take it if it's that, I guess. I mean, at this point, we're kind of in the same territory that Ibai was when he got his first bear, like kill count wise. We're in that same range. Nine legendary. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, something of note. Finally, a bear of note. Look at you, you beautiful beast. Finally. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh. Come on. Give us a good clean shot. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? He's just walking towards us. Oh, it's about to be the end of their drink time. That's why. He might be trying to travel. Actually, that should be good. Yeah, we got him. Level 9 down. Uh, Johan, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Let's get the Great One Luck going. Oh, I know, right? We need it. We need the Great One Luck. We just cannot get this thing for the life of me. Okay, I got that one down as well. Wasn't a great shot, but it, it does the job. It does the job. Uh, Gerald's in the trophy lodge, Cole, so...
Come on, be our first diamond of the day. That's a troll. Oh, we're not off to a we're not off to a good start. We're not off to a good start. We're not looking good. Oh man. Made an okay shot though, I'll take that. Sad. So sad. Could you imagine if when we finally get a level 9 rare to spawn, it ends up trolling like that? Imagine it's just the worst troll possible. That would suck. <laughs> is Lucky still on the map? Yeah, we still have Lucky. Lucky is still over on uh, Leighton Lakes. I don't have a tent next to him anymore though, so I can't go see him that easily at least. What's my favorite animal to hunt in the game? You know? Probably Whitetail. I have a lot of fun with Whitetail. There's just something about the Whitetail that's very enjoyable. Probably, you know, it's got a pretty low average kill count for great ones. So you get great ones usually sub 2,000 kills. Uh, you can kill a lot of Whitetail pretty quickly. They're super plentiful, so it's not like it's hard to find them either. And you don't have to track them for ages whenever you shoot one. Like, all those things combined make me like the, uh, the whitetail hunting. It's a lot of fun. Not to mention the rares look really good. And some of the big, like, diamonds just, they look so cool. Even though they're probably not the most realistic species in the game in terms of, like, how a lot of the tines are positioned and lengths of tines and stuff like that. Like, the racks for whitetail aren't the most realistic for just your normal whitetail. The great ones look really good. But a lot of the other ones, you know, they're they're not the most realistic, but some of them look really cool. A few of the diamonds I really like. All right, let's do a quick reset. I think that's what we're going to need. I think we need a reset to get them here. What was my first diamond ever? It was a red deer off of Parque Fernando, awesome A-Rod. I got it before trophy lodges were a thing though, so I will never, never be able to visit it in the lodge, sadly. There we go. One more kill and we'll be at 6,900. Oh my gosh. Okay, nothing else. It was just that one bear. Can I do a waterfowl stream? Uh, at some point I could. I don't know when that would be, but I, I could definitely do one at some point. You know, guys, maybe we've been looking at it wrong. Maybe we're not going to get a great one at 69.69. Maybe we're going to get it at 6,900. Maybe this next kill is the great one. I mean, we can hope. We can hope that this next kill is the great one. Hey, Happy Hunters, how's it going, man? SRP would look good with Whitetail. I agree. It would. Whitetail would be a cool backfill to uh, SRP. I really hope they do that. I mean, there's a few other species that'd be pretty good, but it would be nice to hunt Whitetail here. Like, it would just be really cool. It's one of those things where I don't think it's the best species that they could put on here. But I would not mind it. I need another place to grind for a great one Whitetail. Uh, you missed one troll, Ty. So far, we just got a troll. Trying to grind enough rifle score for the 7 mil on your Xbox? Nice, rated. I mean, there's a few really good ways to do that. Um, red deer are great money. You can kill the red deer with a 270. Another pretty decent option is if you want to stick to Leighton Lakes, you could go hunt some blacktail deer. They give, I think, eleven or twelve hundred apiece. And then, of course, 
You could always do multiplayer Tiawaroa and hunt fallow deer with the 270 or the 243. Like, that's a really good early game option as well. Fallow deer are pretty awesome. And they give solid money as well. I think fallow deer give like between 1,000 and 1,200. Maybe a little bit more if it's like a diamond or a big four. Finally got my whitetail grind going smooth. Also got a piebald Roosevelt elk silver male. Nice little gamer. That's awesome. What is the worst troll I've ever gotten? Oh, it was... Oh my gosh. Brings back terrible memories. It was, uh... It was a level 3 melanistic white-tailed deer that trolled by 0 0.01. That's what I consider my worst troll. It wasn't the one that trolled by the most, like, by the largest margin, but... It was the most depressing troll ever. 7, 6... No great one. Oh, there's another. Another six. Okay, we got him. Took longer than it needed to, but we got him. I mean, true, awesome, Rod. It's definitely one of the rarest things I've ever had happen as well. Because, you know, it's not every day you have a rare level three whitetail troll by literally 0 0.01. It was so sad, though. <laughs> Do I have a loadout load out for Grey Wolves on Medved? Um, I mean, 12 gauge pump action with slugs is always a solid option for wolves. And then kind of just whatever else, whatever else you want to go with that. But that's like a super solid gun for wolf defense. One of my favorites, honestly. Shotgun slugs are monstrous against them. Yeah, pretty much, Stakehead, pretty much. Like, I've had a few troll rares before. That one is definitely the most noticeable, or notable. Because I had a troll piebald rocky elk as well. But it was like, it was a guaranteed troll, so I knew it was going to troll. And it trolled by like 20 or 30 points, so it's not like I expected it to make it. So that one didn't hurt as bad. But man, that that whitetail, like I expected it to make it. Because it was the uh it was the basket rack. That thing rarely trolls. And so I was shocked when it did. What's the bear kill count so far? Six, uh, 6,906. This grind is becoming the uh, never-ending infinite grind. <laughs> How many kills do you guys think we'll get it at? What do you guys think? <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking like six million, maybe, you know? Let's let's set the bar. Let's let's set it high so I'll be surprised when it's less than six million. That would that way uh, that way I can be surprised. <laughs> yeah, most of you are thinking 69, 69. Oh, we've surpassed that, William. We're at six thousand nine hundred and six right now. Next late, clearly. Oh, I hope so. I hope so, man. Have I gotten a two-tone animal before? Yeah, I got a two-tone fabled moose. Two-tone great one moose. Unless you're talking about the two-tone fox. The two I have a two-tone diamond fox. Looks really good. Two-tone's gotta be my favorite uh for the fox, for the gray fox. My favorite non-rare. And then uh, Two-Tone's one of my favorite moose fur types as well. 
Probably, Johnny. Probably. That'd be my luck. Have I got a... Okay, I already read that. Hope you keep it under 10k. Me too. I hope so. Just a six here? Okay, interesting. It's one bear at this zone, so the rest are probably at the other zone or not rendered in. Both of those are possibilities. Goes to 10,001, could you imagine? You'll get it on your 9999. <laughs> ah, it's like you guys want me to go insane. Jeez. You guys want me to go insane, don't you? Just to see what it's like to watch Scarecrow go insane. What gun is that? It's the 338 bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack. Advice to get a lot of money. Hunting Red Deer. Or... Drawn a blank. What is the other one? Lions. That's the other one. Red Deer and Lions. They're both really good for money. Uh, the other thing you could do is... Really just hunt any of the, like, predator animals. So, like, bears, foxes. Like, all of those give... Like, higher cash for some reason? You'll get a great one, Black Bear, on your birthday. Well, my birthday already passed, so... I, I hope you're not... I hope you're wrong there. I don't want to wait a full year to get a great one, Bear. Because my birthday was 10 days ago. So, that'd be unfortunate if I had to wait till my next birthday. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be wild. Want to see a raccoon grind? I've been tempted to hunt some raccoons recently. Because uh, it is it is pretty cool to get diamond raccoons. I got I gotta say that was one of my favorite things to get on Mississippi when it first came out. It's always satisfying to see that uh, level five raccoon pop up. Bro, where's the bears? Where the bears be? They've they've disappeared. We got tracks. Guess they're just not here yet. What about over here? No, just one bear here. All right. Ugh, let's go reset the time. I will for sure cash. For sure. Great mythical troll diamond by 0 0.1. That's pretty crazy that it was that close. Oh yeah, raccoons would be cool for uh for Silver Ridge. That's that's true. It would be pretty cool. No, diamond raccoons are at level five. They only go up to level five. This bear's refusing to show up. Yes, gear. Like I said, I, I checked the entire map for like 30 hours straight before I started only hunting two lakes. And I have not lost any respawns here since then, so I know that they can't be anywhere else. I know that we don't have any great ones or diamonds on the other parts of the map. Because we've already searched the rest of the map multiple times before. And I was thorough with it too. I made sure they were all showing up. There'd be times where I would like just let the entire drink time run. And then drive an ATV up to every zone just so I could pick up the tracks. Oh hey! There's all of our bears. 
They're literally all right here. So yeah, there's there's no great one on the rest of the map. We were extra thorough with it. There we go. Grinding for a second, great one, Whitetail finally got bored of all those diamonds, so I decided to go to multiplayer bow hunting. And what was the first diamond I saw? Freaking Whitetail? <laughs> that sounds about right, man. That's how it'd be. Like, the Whitetail, they, they stick with you even when you don't want them anymore. Because they know that if you see one more Whitetail, you'll go insane. Nice, Newly, that's a good one. A max scoring lion's not a bad first diamond. Where is best to grind Whitetail? Leighton and Revlon Tuli are the two best for Whitetail by a long shot. Rancho's kind of like middle of the road. It's okay, but it's not like amazing because there's a lot of brushy lakes that they like to go to. So the brush kind of makes that a bit rough. And then um, Mississippi is, it's just gators spooking them all the time and brush everywhere. So Mississippi sadly is not very good for Whitetail. It's usually Leighton or Revlon Tuli that I would recommend. Both of those are really awesome options. We're now 6,910 kills. Oh my gosh, we're 43 minutes into the stream already, guys. That's insane. How have I already been streaming for 43 minutes? That's pretty crazy. When did I hit 111K? I think it was like three or four days ago, Nate. I believe so. I could be wrong there. But I think it was around that time. Ooh, nothing here. Did they respawn down here again? Imagine two times in a row, all of them spawn there except the one that was still at the other lake. I just tried to take a drink of my soda without opening it. I'm, I'm doing good, guys. <laughs> There we go. Opening it definitely helps. Who would have known? Who would have known you can't drink out of an unopened can? What type of soda? It's a Cherry Coke Zero. One bear. Wait, oh, no, there's another. I saw you run in there, buddy. Nice. Two bears. How long did it take me to herd manage all the other bear zones? I don't think it was that long, actually. I think it was maybe like 40, 40 hours, maybe 50 hours. It was 40 or 50 hours, a few hundred kills. I've noticed bears are semi-easy to get them to go down to lower levels. They're actually not that bad. Yeah, Schrader, it's been, it's been a wild journey here. It has been a wild journey on the channel. And just think, we're just getting started. We got many more years of content to be created. Many, many more years. I'm 25, Ty. His name is Crow of Scare. It is. I'm not Scarecrow. I'm the Crow of the Scare. Do you got any great ones today? Not today, man. No great ones today. I mean, it is it is a Coca Cola, Maria. It's a it's a cherry Coca Cola. I agree, though. There's there's nothing quite like a a normal Coca Cola. I don't drink the like the sugary Coca Cola anymore, but it, it probably has the best flavor of any soda out there, in my opinion. It's just there's something special about it.
What did I do to this poor thing? He's like, he's sitting. I made him sit down. Yeah, I gotta check, because I'm pretty sure there was a bear here, right? Like, there was a bear there. We saw the tracks. Yeah, there's still tracks here. Well, there's two bears here now. We're, we have two bears that didn't render in. Both small males as well. Cherry choke. <laughs> it is pretty good, Sam. I do like it. And you know what? Call me crazy. I'm one of those weird people that likes Coke and Pepsi. I know it's like it's 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 almost it's almost just not right. You're not supposed to like both of them, I know, but I do enjoy them both. Coca-Cola better though. Like uh, I remember growing up like a cherry Pepsi was one of my favorite things to have. A cherry Pepsi. Oh man, it was just on a hot summer day, you just crack open a cherry Pepsi. Oof. Amazing. And before that, like, Dr. Pepper was my go-to. Dr. Pepper is still something I love, but... I've kind of moved on to, like, the... The... What is it? The Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. Dr. Pepper Cream Soda is one of the best sodas ever made. Like, uh... It's, it's top five for me easily. It's easily top five. They made a combination work that I never thought could. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use one more lake. That'll slow down our kills per hour. And at this rate, like, I just want to get this, I just want to get this bear down, like, ah. I'm not going to do anything that'll uh, slow the grind down. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. That ain't a great one, I tell you what. <laughs> what are you? Small. That's what you are. What a bear. Small males everywhere. How many kills are we at? We're currently at 6,915. Too much, in other words. Hey, Riss, how's it going? You just started the game a week ago. Finally got your first diamond on Savannah. A gold blue wildebeest. Nice. That's awesome, man. Just realized I hadn't subscribed, so that's done now. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the channel, and congrats on your first diamond. That's amazing. A really good first diamond to get, too. Like, it took me years to get a gold fur type diamond wildebeest. So that's crazy that you got it as your first. You try to stand up glitch, you get hit with the switch. <laughs> that's the best, that's the best I could do with that rhyme. <laughs> try to make it rhyme, that was the best I could come up with. But to be fair, that is like slang for like an automatic weapon, so. I guess it kind of fits, even though I'm using a bolt action. All the zones I'm grinding herd management on are moving around. Why is that? Because it's bears. Uh, bears don't go back to the same spot unless you're very lucky with where you've placed all of the other bears. Like, there's very few places that always get the same bears. Like, for example, I have respawns over here. They would always bounce between these four lakes. Until I eventually got some of the females to move on to this shoreline, then they never went back to this shoreline. Like, it really is a matter of just stuffing the zones in, in the surrounding area to a point where nothing can spawn there. That way, your respawns are more reliable. That's kind of what I've done. At first, I didn't even realize that I was doing it until I started noticing that, like, both of these lakes never lose their respawns. And then it made me realize, like, yeah, I really did, like, I was, like, shooting the female bears and getting them into other zones and then like I was getting small males into other zones too and I guess it's at a point where they just can't get any more.
Really, the only way to like figure out what's consistent on your grind is to just grind. Just grind and take note of what areas get their respawns reliably, what areas don't get them reliably, and stuff like that. What the? Oh, hey! All right, there we go. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so, I just recently got this little like, uh, this little watch called like a Fitbit, right? It's supposed to like keep track of like your health and stuff. Help you keep track of your health. I didn't realize that it has a function where it vibrates and tells you to move. <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. I'm just chilling, just shooting some bears. My wrist vibrates, and it's like, remember to move. <laughs> that scared me. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought that something that's meant to keep you healthy would almost give you a heart attack? <laughs> oh man. Scared the crap. A wow, Walrus. <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah, Schrader, like, that's, that scared me. But I figured, you know, since I have, since I've always, uh, had pretty bad, like, anxiety and stress, like, I figured getting this would probably be a good option, because just having, like, the peace of mind, knowing that I can just check it and it'll tell me that my heart's, like, okay, it relieves, like, a lot of that anxiety, because... You know, the symptoms of anxiety are a lot similar to, like, a heart attack, so... That's something that has always, like, drove my mind crazy. Like, your mind plays tricks on you at times, just... And so I'll, like, I've had situations where, like, I thought I was having a heart attack, and it just made the anxiety worse. And so I figured this would be a great way to, like, know for sure, so that I could get peace of mind and know that I'm actually fine. And so far, it's worked out. Oh gosh, fitness gear pacer. <laughs> oh man, that brings back memories. I remember when that like was first becoming a thing. That's oh my gosh. Good times on YouTube. Good times on YouTube, man. Seven, six, five, four. Now where's the three? Or even better, an eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five. You stupid bears. You did this to me. You made me miss that shot. You stupid stand-up glitch. Come on, four, go down. Finally, there we go. Seven six five four three two ten. Uh, hopefully, that'd be amazing. Yeah, here it definitely can be difficult. Just a matter of like finding things that you can do to help it, right? Got a minway moose today. Oh my gosh, Johnny! I actually got one. I actually got one the other night. I decided to shoot some moose the other day. I only shot like 10 moose before I like got bored and went back to bears. <laughs> but um I killed a minimum weight one. It was one of the level ones that we had left. Just start the bear grind on SRP. Any tips? Uh be sure to check your map thoroughly for pretty much most of your grind. Because for the longest time, you're going to notice that bears are very inconsistent. They rarely go back to the same place two times in a row. So you got to be checking your whole map. And also another thing is be patient as a lot of bears get to their zone late. So you're going to have to be checking the zones at like different times throughout the drink time. Just to make sure you didn't miss any.
And the last thing is just pay attention to what zones are consistent. If you have some specific zones where they always get there early in the drink time, and they always, uh, always, uh, respawn, like, uh, respawn reliably and get to their zone, like, quickly, those types of zones are great ones to hunt. Level six. The big boy wasn't here, though. Nice, Jake. That's awesome. That is awesome. There we go. And back over here. Oh, it was fun, Caitlin. It was a lot of fun. It was quite a fun time. She had a blast as well, like. We had a few of our uh, friends come over that also have toddlers. And so Aaliyah was just, she was having a fun day. Just play, 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 play. And I uh, I got her like a, a big like 48 count chalk set. And so she was just drawn with the chalk all day. <laughs> and playing in the pool and stuff. She was having a fun time. Five hundred and seventy-two kills into my first great one grind. Nice, claim, and hopefully you get it very quickly. Hopefully it'll be a short grind for you. Okay, we're gonna have to main menu, I think. Oh, always after, Stadler. If you pour the milk first and then put the cereal in, then you're a psychopath. <laughs> Only a psychopath would do something so foul. Uh, Critical82, thank you for the super chat, dude. How can you get money fast in the game? Uh, there's a few different animals that give it pretty quickly. Stuff like red deer and lions give it really fast. And, uh... Where's my bears, man? Where's my bears? And uh, the biggest thing is just if you're looking for mine, just shoot everything you see. Shoot everything in sight and make sure to claim it all. Silver Ridge Peaks is a pretty good map to do that on. So is Tiabaroa. Both of them are maps where you can just jump on and shoot everything. It's how does that shot not hit? Makes no sense. Call the wild, why? Some of these shots that miss just make no sense. 6,924, by the way. Oof. Jeez. Terrible. Come on, call the wild. <sighs> Excuse me, oh my gosh. Allergy season rough, man. <laughs> Allergy season rough. There's our bear. It's a decent seven as well. Max weight estimate seven. Gotta love them. Only 45 more kills? I hope. Mountain Lion give good cash too. They do. They do. Kind of tough to uh, hunt now with them being a nighttime drink zone though. Been watching you for eight hours straight. Got two diamond moose today and a diamond lynx. My first three diamonds. Any tips for a moose gray one? Uh, for the moose great one, I'd say, oh, we got, we got four bears here. Oh my gosh. Um, I would say for moose great one, biggest tip I can give is be sure to check your map thoroughly. They move around a lot. Um, a lot of the moose that you'll run into are solo males. 
So every time you end up killing one of them, there is a pretty high chance they'll respawn at a different area. So be sure to check your map thoroughly during a moose grind. It is like the most important part of it. Check in all your zones regularly. Until you get them to a point where like they're more consistent, then you can kind of like reduce the amount of zones you're hunting down to like maybe 10 or 15. I would recommend prioritizing the ones that are in herds instead of the solo males, because that's going to make your grind easier. There's more chances they'll come back to the same zone. And uh, if you're going for Revel on Thule Coast, which is what I recommend for Moose, you can get it to where you just hunt the northern half of the map. And when you can get it to that point, like it can be a very, uh, very efficient and fast grind. Hey, Flanky, how's it going? Hey, Jebba. Thank you, Jebba. Thank you. 10k and I donate 20 subs. Hey, I don't know if I I don't know if I could grind clear up to 10,000 kills. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ugh. I'd go insane before then. Is Rev better than Medved for Moose? They're both pretty even. I think I think Medved's a little bit better. But I personally like Rev on Thule better for the uh Moose grind just because the scenery. I like the scenery better. Uh, looking at the white snow 24-7, just, it's a little blinding at times. And I have found that I think Rev is more consistent with respawns. If you're just hunting the northern half of Rev, it's really consistent. Shot into a bush and got a leucistic pronghorn. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's got to be like one of your best kills of all time, I would imagine, right? That's insanity. Oh, we got a nine. <laughs> we got a nine. Hello. Seven, nine. Three sevens and a nine. Look at that. That's a terrible angle, though. We're going to have to get him next run, because that, that is not going to cut it. I can't make that shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that gap between the trees is too small to where it actually would not even count as a gap. It would just count as a tree. There he goes. We'll get him next run. Uh, I'd say it's very likely, Aaron. At this rate, we get about a thousand subs a week. Maybe a little bit less, slightly less probably. I'd say we'll probably hit 112K before we get the great one in my, uh, in my opinion. I mean, right now we're at 111,376, so. Probably in less than a week, we'll hit 112K. So, if this great one doesn't show up within a week, then yeah, we'd end up hitting 112k subs first. How many hours do I grind per day? Depends on the day, but I'd say four, probably. Maybe five. Because I'll do between two and four hours of streaming, grinding the bears. And then I'll probably do one to two hours off stream as well. That's usually how I've been doing it. Um, is Leighton a bad place to grind for moose? To be honest, I don't think there's any, like, bad place to grind moose. They're pretty similar across all maps in terms of, like, what you can expect. I would say that it's definitely not number one. Leighton's probably towards the low end. But it, the thing is, it's not as bad as New England or Yukon in terms of, like, how fast you'll be able to kill your moose. Yukon's got that massive river, and all the lakes are really big, so you have, to, you have to walk around those lakes all the way to get to your kills if you don't have tents on the other side to claim them. And then New England, I mean, we all know how New England is. Literally just, moose can be everywhere on the map, and it's a giant river system that circles the entire map and cuts through the middle. So New England's just really bad for moose. Layton's kind of in the middle. 
Not as good as Revontuli or Medved, but it's not bad either. Like, it's not terrible. What's the kill count on the bears? 6,932. Many. 32 many. <laughs> Way too many. Too many bears. Please. Please give me the great one. Yeah, straight or about. Depending on uh depending on how hard I go each day. There's the bear. Yeah, we are getting close to 69.69. Hopefully we'll get it. What is my general opinion about New England? How do you rate it compared to other maps? It's very average in my opinion. No new animals was a big disappointment. Um, the, the actual animals that I care about on the map being literally at every part of the map and having to search the whole map just to find all their drink zones was also a big negative. But the small game hunting was a big positive in my eyes. The small game hunting is really good on uh on New England. All right, let's get this 9 down. Let's get this guy down. We got him to come back to the zone the next run. Please do not troll like the last one. Is this my longest grind ever? Yep, it officially is. It's about 200 kills longer than our longest red deer grind at this point. Please make it. I didn't even check the estimate. I think the estimate was like 22 to 24 or 22 to 25 or something. <sighs> Come on. It's a diamond 2298. Let's go. First diamond of the day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, love to see it. Not past the taxing threshold for us, but still so nice to get a diamond. After an hour and 10 minutes, it took an hour and 10 minutes to get our first diamond bear of the day. We did get a troll though, so you know, that that's cool too. Uh, snack pack OJ, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Let's go. I know, all right, let's go. Finally a diamond. Finally a diamond on the board. Oh, there is. There are so many tracks. What else do we got here? A small male, the smallest of all. The smallest male of all is here. How many great ones have I got so far? 32 in total, zero bears. Sadly, zero bears. Oh my gosh, they're both tiny. <laughs> ah, poor things, I feel bad for them. Oh, I know, Flanky, like, it's, I want to get it done with. I've been really sticking to it because I want to get it. If I can't get this thing to show up, then I mean, we're going to grind until we get, like, another big update. What I've been telling everybody is we're going to keep grinding this great one until we either get it or until a new great one releases. Because, obviously, if a new great one releases, then we have to grind that. Three and a five. And a five. Well, we got the big boy. Now the small males are popping up because of it. Holy Euro Rabbit Great One. Could you imagine? Could you imagine a Euro Rabbit Great One? That would drive a lot of people insane. Even more insane than these bears have drove me. Could you imagine just sitting above burrows to grind? 
That would probably be like the most boring great one grind that they could ever add. Like Euro rabbits. Oh gosh. Just sitting above the burrows for thousands of kills. <laughs> oh, please no. Please never. Please never do that, EW. Don't get any ideas from what uh, Caitlin is saying in chat here. Kill count 6,937. How did I decide on these two lakes? Oh, I didn't. The lakes decided for themselves. They were like, hey, we're going to be consistent. And so I was like, well, I guess we're grinding these lakes. These two lakes have always been like my most reliable. And for the longest time, I just didn't realize how reliable they were. Because we never lose any respawns from these two lakes. And they always show up. Like immediately when I reset the time. So it was actually pretty easy to figure out what we were going to do just based off of those things. Once we figured that out, it was, it was all, it was all history. That was the decider. Hey Hunter Ackerman, how's it going? I didn't know that grinding only two lakes is not hurting you. Because it's never hurt in the past for anybody that's done it. I buy premiums has got four great one bears grinding just two zones. He got four great one bears um, back before they made the population changes before they redistributed them. He had four bears. All of them spawned at Mule Deer Outpost. And at one point, I think he was t I think he was saying that he was only shooting like two or three bears. And he was able to get his first great one after like 6,500 or something like that. And then he got three great ones within the next 2,000 kills, and he stacked all of them on the map. So he had three great ones on his map at once. And he was only shooting... At, at the very end of his grind, he told me that he was only hunting one lake. He was only hunting Mule Deer Outpost. That was it. So I doubt... I highly doubt that hunting two lakes would be hurting our chances of a great one. Snack Pack, thank you for the super chat once again. Really appreciate it. Just wanted to say you've helped me a lot in this game. That is awesome to hear. Always nice to hear that I'm able to uh, help people out with learning the game and getting trophies and stuff in the game and finding good spots to hunt and things. Really appreciate that. Hey, Dusky, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. How do you become a member? Uh, with the link in chat or by clicking the join button. Either one works. Let's see what we got as response from those three that were here. Mm, nothing okay. They might be at this lake then. I wonder if they all went over to this lake. We killed all five last run, right? I think we did. I think we killed all five. What do I think the new map will be? My guess is either Australia or Asia. Because, I mean, if we look at the, the clues, right? Not a North American map. Not an Africa map. Unlike anything that we have in the game currently... I feel like the only popular map requests that would fall into that, like, category is Australia and Asia. So I feel like it's gotta be Australia, right? My, my pick is Australia. I think it'll be Australia, but it definitely could be Asia as well. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Where'd that bear go? Did he die instantly? I thought I missed the vitals. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's to be honest, uh, Cole, I don't think they should like tell us like options and have us pick between them. Cause what if, what if we vote for one, right? And then they run into issues and can't make it. Normally, like, if we didn't know what the map was going to be, they'd probably just, you know, 
change the map or change some of the stuff on it to make it work probably but like if they told us before they even started making it like then they'd be like they'd be locked in they'd have to do that or else they'd disappoint everybody so I, I don't think I, I I see why they don't tell us ahead of time what they're going to be doing because it just creates disappointment if they can't follow through with it hi thank you for the super chat really appreciate it would I ever do a Red Dead Redemption 2 video? Maybe. I'm not sure. If I did, it would probably go on my second channel. I'm going to start doing like non-hunting game related stuff on my second channel. Primarily. And try to keep this channel like just the hunting and fishing games. Primarily just hunting games though. Got a seven. Not too bad. Three down. We're now at 6,942. What do we got here? Small mail. That's what we got. Any great one yet? No great ones today, Carl. No great ones today. Unfortunately. We'll get it eventually, though. Ooh, oh my gosh. Old Crow's getting tired. Tis the dad life, though. What is the best trophy so far? Uh, we got a small diamond. That's been our best thing of the day. Can I please grab that? There we go. Uh, mid-size mail. Mid-size mail. There's three different sets of tracks here. Mid-size. They're all mid-size mails. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They're all mid-size. And it's past their drink time, so... Yeah, pretty much, Flanky. Being a dad is just being tired all the time. Being tired all the time and not having free time. Cinnamon and 16 kills. I'd take a cinnamon. I'd take any rare bear, especially if it's on a level 9. With 7k kills, you get a 5 plus different great ones? Yeah, if I was hunting like other stuff. Yeah, probably. If I was going for Whitetail, I would for sure have at least three or four great ones. Probably like five or six, to be honest. Just think about that, guys. That's crazy. If I if I had just stuck to only Whitetail grinding, I'd probably be at like 37 total great ones right now. Possibly higher. Unless we got on a really bad streak for Whitetail as well. Which is totally possible. We've had really good luck with Whitetail, but that doesn't mean you can't have a bad grind. That was awful. What am I doing with my life? That was terrible. Scarecrow, come on, aim better. Jeez. Gosh. That one's probably not going to die before we finish our rotation. Oh, I feel you on that one, Flanky. Oh, jeez, bam. That's got to be tiring, man. That's got to get real tiring. Colin, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Do all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. And uh, Snakehead, thank you for the super chat. What the Rare 9? <laughs> Watch the Rare 9 only score 2279. Don't say that. Don't say that. That's rude. Are you trying to jinx me here? I mean, who am I, who am I kidding? Of course you guys are trying to jinx me. It just, it just wouldn't feel right if you guys weren't trying to jinx me into getting a super troll. <laughs> Who's my favorite streamer other than me? I don't really watch a lot of, like, streams nowadays. I, 
watch videos, but not really streams. Because, like, you know, a video, it's there whenever I want to go watch it. A stream, I got to be there when it's going on, and I, I'm working on content a lot of the day. And then when I'm not working on content, I'm usually hanging out with my wife and daughter. And so the only time I get to watch YouTube videos is late at night. Like, after 9 p.m. usually is when I get to sit down and watch videos from throughout the day. And at that point, not really anybody streaming that I would, like, care to watch. So I just don't really watch too much streams. I did a collab with Lady Legend recently, Seb. I'm sure I'll end up doing another one with Lady at some point, too. Can you get a rare for Diamond Level 8? Oh, man. Could you imagine? That would be the rarest thing in the game. What DLC map should you get first? Um, let's see. Revon is a really good one. It's got the most species of any map. Uh, most variety of species as well. Like in terms of like the types of animals. There's tons of waterfowl, upland birds. There is um, a couple different great one species as well with moose and whitetail. You got the brown bear. You've got like three or four different small game. I think it's like three different small game animals. You got the hares, the lynx, and the raccoon dog. Just a great map. Lots of variety. That's why it's one of my favorites. Rev's just got so much to offer. There's the other bear. Oh, yeah, for sure, Bam, for sure. Yeah, Super Troll does sound pretty cool. I I mean, it does. It's just not... It, it would just be sad if I had a... Ch oh, level 9, level 9, legendary. The legendary Barry is back. The legendary Barry is here. 21 to 23. We're finally getting the level 9s flowing in. Let's see. We got it, and then we dropped the other one? <laughs> That's insane. We dropped that second one. Must have been Spine Lung. Spine Lung's the only thing that I know of that can drop it like that, unless we hit the heart. If we hit the heart, that would obviously get it. That's the seven. The nine ran over here. Let's see what we got going. What type of diamond is this guy going to be? Hopefully a rare diamond. But most likely not. Yeah, you're common. Dusky. Hello, Mr. Dusky. Please don't troll. 2302. Let's go. We got diamond number two of the day. And that's our 2,330th diamond of all time. Holy. 428 meter shot on a diamond bear. That's insanity. That is insanity. That elevation coming into play. Helping us get those long shots. Actually, this is a good opportunity to show you guys what I talk... When I talk about the, like, elevation trick for getting longer shots, I can kind of show you, like, what I mean by that. So, the way that the game calculates render distance is flat distance across the map, not counting elevation. So, it's like the flat map. It's so like technically where we're standing now, that's only 394 meters away from our tent if we were to look at it without the verticality. 
But then, like, you go up top and... Our tripod's right there. This would be about 430 meters right here. Just shows you how, like, the elevation gives you a little bit extra. The higher the elevation is, the more extra you'll get. It's pretty cool. It can help you make some insane shots if you find the right area. SRP is like the one map where you can do that pretty much everywhere. Harley, thank you for the membership renewal. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing phenomenal. No, Vision, there is no way to check how many total kills you have. It's all a matter of just keeping track of it yourself. I keep track of it on a, a clicker app called Click Counter. Where every time I, I shoot a bear, I just press the plus button and it'll add it to the kill count. Yeah, you have to keep track of everything yourself with, uh, with Call of the Wild if you want to know individual grinds. Would a diamond albino cape be more rare than a great one? Ah, uh, yes, that'd be much more rare. Any type of super rare is typically more rare than a great one. My day's been good, Harley. It's been good. Mythical. Nice. Like I was saying, it's been good. We just had a nine. Now we got a mythical there. Things are looking good. We're now at 6,950 kills. 19 more kills and we'll be at 6969. If we don't get a great one there or a diamond at the minimum, I'll be disappointed. I'll be very disappointed in Call of the Wild for not taking advantage of that amazing opportunity. That's what I'm saying, Johnny. Where it be? No, I'm going to take the great one with the 338. I'm not risking it, James. Not after how long this grind has been. I will not risk it by using something like a handgun. Could I imagine a great one tree? Uh, it'd be interesting. For sure. Is it possible to get an albino white tail great one? Yes, one person has got one. It is possible. Seven, seven. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Is there a cinnamon black bear great one? I uh, know it wasn't ESC. He's a very he's a very well known grinder in the community that got the albino. That was confirmed by the developers that he was fine. Pretty sure they like pinned it in the Discord and everything. So yeah, LC's albino great one was legitimate. Hey, TDV, how's it going? Good to see you. Y'all didn't see that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, did I? I think I did. That's a five. I know, right, TDV? I was like, wait a second. Seven. Not gonna lie, I caught a glimpse of that bear through the bushes. And because it was behind the bush, it made the color look different. So I thought it might have been a fabled spirit. Why is it that whenever I see something that I think is a great one, my first thought is fabled spirit? 
Is that a sign we're going to get a fabled spirit? I think it's got to be. We got to get a fabled spirit, I would say. I mean, I think fabled spirit's one of the more common great one bears, so... Would not be surprised if that's the one we get. Uh, yeah, James. So herd management is just leaving the small males and killing the big males. So like for, let's say, bears or red deer, you leave the fours and below and kill the fives and above. If you want to do it for like whitetail, you would kill the twos and threes and leave the ones. Wondering when you will get the great one bear. Also wondering when will Flinter get a great one moose? I don't know, JC. Blender's getting really unlucky with his moose. I mean, I got two great one moose without herd management in like 1,500. Like two within 1,500 kills of each other. And then like my herd management grinds for moose were about the same. Except for one of them. One of them was ridiculous. One of them was 4,500 kills. And, like, half of the grind was herd management, the other half wasn't. Another reason I really don't think that it affects great ones at all. And I think at this point, a lot of people are starting to feel the same way about it. I've noticed that a lot of people that used to think that herd management affected great ones are starting to, starting to say that it doesn't. Which is nice to see. Because it's something that us, like, HM grinders have been saying for, like, ages. And even some of the, the Great One Grinders that used to think it did have started to have second thoughts, like iBuy. I remember for a while iBuy was like sure that it affected them. And then recently he's been having some grinds that have gave like very different results than before. And it made him like uh, kind of look at it again. It's just crazy to look at different people's RNG with stuff. Like Mel and Flinter have had really bad luck with Moose. So has KC. I mean, KC hasn't been grinding as much though. So he's at a lower kill count than they are. But then you look at somebody like me and I had... I've got five great one Moose now. Four of those grinds were pretty, pretty quick. Like sub 1500. And then I had one grind that was 4500. <laughs> which is wild. It was like 4,200 on Medved. And then... Went to Rev, 300 kills, and boom. There he was. Maybe, Johnny. Maybe. That's something I've suspected as well. Like, I've noticed during my grinds, certain zones for my Whitetail grind seem to give more big trophies. I do wonder if there's some type of mechanic that, like, makes it so specific herds, like, give better stuff. I've definitely noticed that's been a thing. Like, I, I've always had certain zones for my grinds where it's like, this zone always gives me good stuff. To be fair, though, like, we're still getting lots of level 9, so it's not like we're not getting good stuff. I think we're just getting unlucky, really. I think we're, I think it's just a matter of getting unlucky. It's, it's, it's midnight. We gotta, we gotta change the time. What scope am I using? The Hyperion scope. Love me some Hyperion. Seventy-two hundred moose kills and five great ones. Not bad, man. That's pretty average from what I've seen. That's like right on track with what it should be. Hey Mason, how's it going, dude? I'm using the 338 bolt action, Harley. It's from the Hunter Power Pack. Really good rifle for bears. Right now, it's like, it's been my go-to for the bear grind. With larger animals like moose, it sadly does not have enough penetration to get double lung. So the 300 ends up being a better option for stuff like moose and buffalo and bison. But like on the bears, it reliably gets double lung. So I've found it to be the perfect rifle 
for the bear grind. Another bear here, so that's three. We are at 6,961 kills now, uh, Kenny. We're at a lot of kills. <laughs> We're approaching that 69-69, you know, that's going to be the magic number. Everybody's been calling it for, like, a week at this point. Everybody's been saying it's got to pop up at either 6,900 or 69-69. Like, it has to. And you know what? I'm starting to, starting to hope that's true. <laughs> well, we did, we did not kill that thing. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, we did. I must have spined him. This is probably a spine shot. Maybe a gut shot, but probably spine. Oh, there's the blood. So he went through here, I think. Maybe not? Oh, he did a little zigzag motion. Where did he go? Bro. Hunter, why are you going to the beginning? Oh, it's because he went that way. That makes sense now. Not bad. Oh, for sure, Nathan. Well, I got to turn up the AC a little bit more. It's starting to get hot. It's supposed to be like 95 degrees or something crazy like that today. Oh, really, Johnny? Ooh, that's unfortunate. I haven't tested it since then. Even more reason to go for hard shots. Seven. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Sounds about right. Although this time it's bears on the floor. We knocking them down. Oh, that's a big boy track. Not bad. Oh gosh, Caitlin. That's rough. Gotta love it when they do that. Especially when like you get into a groove and then the bears are like, yeah, let's 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 throw them off a little bit. It's currently 930 in England. Jeez, it's late. 138 for me at the moment. Uh, Easy Lou, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Should I only hunt two legs for bears as well? Uh, that is up to you and whether or not you can get your map to that point. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh it did not happen quick for me. But then again, may maybe it did. Maybe I just discovered it late. But it took a lot of, like, herd managing the other zones down. And trying to like push females into nearby zones so that they would take up slots. And then one day we just started thinking like, what if I can just grind these two lakes? 
And like I accidentally deleted this zone for the first time. And then I realized like they just came right back to it. And so then after that we were like maybe I can just grind these two zones. And then we've been grinding these two ever since. So if you can get it to do that then yeah. It's it's a great way to grind them. But it's all a matter of luck and like getting, I guess, getting the other bears into the right spots surrounding the lake. And again, this is just my, that's just my take on it. But who knows, maybe I'm completely missing the mark on how we got our lakes like this. Because even I don't fully know, I'm just kind of guessing based on the stuff that we were doing before it got to this point. Seems like it had to do with the fact that we kept shooting the females at that lake as well and we got them to move to surrounding lakes like over here and down here and so my my guess is that it just filled up all the possible respawn locations so now they have nowhere else to go nothing there let's reset nice cdv You got a great one, Moose? Nice, Kenny. Nice. Alright, let's head back here. How long have I been streaming? About an hour and 43 minutes at this point. Nice business, nice. Yeah, getting those better binoculars is like a huge thing in the leveling up process. It's always a pretty big thing. Always very exciting. Mythical. So that's what that other big track was. This little mythical. That brings us to 6,965. Four more kills until we hit 69.69. If we don't get a great one, then the game missed a huge opportunity, you know? Twenty-one fifty-one. For a mythical, I know, right, Johnny? Uh, you gotta give me time, Zach. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm doing on the channel, like... There will be more of the series, don't worry. It's just a matter of finding time to do it. Just because I don't upload a series for like five days or a week doesn't mean that I've stopped doing it. You gotta think, there's like at least seven active series on the channel that I have not ended. And so, like, I gotta cycle between all the stuff that we do. I can't just do one thing. And I'm and I'm trying to get this bear, so I'm spending a lot of time getting the bear. And then leaving time for, like, fun grinds in between as well. Or not necessarily grinds, but, like, fun videos. Like, taking the muzzleloader out to Verhonga like I did in yesterday's video. Gotta leave room for, like, some of the fun stuff, too. Why don't I use the Argus? It shakes too much, it's too sensitive, and it takes up too much of the screen. I find that I'm better with the Hyperion. Yeah, I don't even have the Argus on me. <laughs> I was gonna show what I meant by like the... Oh, what was that? Did I see a bear? Nope, no bear. I thought I saw a bear for a second. Oh, I've already got six Red Deer Great Ones, Rev. I've got all the different rack variations, so I probably won't ever return to Red Deer. Unless they give us something new to grind for for Red Deer. Like, uh, if they if they decide to change the... Or not necessarily change, but add more variations to the Great One Red Deer, I would go back for another for sure. And like, a, we killed like 20,000 red deer across the six grinds, so 
We, we've killed a lot of them. The only thing that I've killed more of is Whitetail. And that's just because, like, I'm obsessed with Whitetail. There's so many different variations of, like, racks, and I still don't have one of them somehow. At this point, we have 20... 21 Great One Whitetail out of 30k kills. And I'm still missing the typical rack. How does that happen? Like, I, it, that blows my mind that I'm still missing the typical rack. Drives me crazy. That's why I keep going back for Whitetail. But, yeah, Red Deer we've completed. And bears we don't even have one of, so... We're really trying to get the bear. Moose are kind of, like, in the middle. There's... There's no way I'll ever get every combination for moose. There's 24 different combinations. But I've already got one of my favorites. So I'm really happy about that. I got one of the ones that I really wanted. Oh, legendary. Hey. <laughs> well, if I shoot the mythical and the nine, that nine will be kill 6969. <laughs> It may not be a great one, but I'll take it, man. It's at least something at 6969. <laughs> Name him nice. He is nice. That's for sure. Can I get this? I think I did. I think that was a good hit. We gotta see if it respawns as the great one. Oh. There was a random five here. Kill number 6968. Now let's go get kill 6969. I know, right? The mythical just ran immediately. Silly thing. Oh, yeah, we got it. This is kill 6,969. The magic bear number. Will it give us a diamond and a great one? And, you know, one more for a super rare. How about that? What are you going to respawn as? Something good, I hope. Hey, it's a diamond. 2285. Third diamond of the day. I'm on Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, D's. Holy. Not big enough to tax for us, but it's a it's still a diamond. Happy to get another diamond going. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. I can't believe that. Kill number 6969 for the bear grind was a diamond. That's amazing. <laughs> barely diamond. Yeah, it's barely a diamond, Caitlin. <laughs> Me too, Schrader. Could you imagine if like we get a diamond or a level 9 on 6969 it trolled. That would have been awful. <laughs> What's my taxidermy cutoff? Uh for the bear grind since we're doing herd management, we get a decent bit of nines, so I've set the cutoff pretty high. Like 2390 is my cutoff. If it's within 0.10 of max score, then I'll tax it. But yeah, I try not to tax anything lower than that, otherwise I would just be spending so much money. On taxing them. At least it wasn't a grizzly troll. Oh, grizzlies are tough, man. Like, I've been trolled by a grizzly once and then actually maybe twice. I think I might have had two troll grizzlies in the past. They are rough, man. They troll a decent bit too, which is sad. They sadly troll a decent bit. Uh, sure, Deez. I mean, you're not really going to get much from seeing my map because everybody's map is going to be different on, like, where you'll need to place your tents and stuff, so. But there it is. Are there any diamonds that I don't have yet? Yeah, a few of the diamonds off of Rev I'm missing. And then I'm missing stuff like the colored peccary diamond. I'm missing musk deer. There's a few that I'm still missing. Nice. 
Nice. That's pretty good. We're at 69.71 now. It did it again. My wrist just vibrated telling me to move. <laughs> I'm not ever going to get used to that, I don't think. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Oh my gosh. Move, gosh, I know, right? Jeez. It's it's just telling me to like just wiggle my arms in the air, you know? There we go. I, I wiggled my arms rapidly into the sky. Yeah, TTV, that, I just got one. Uh, this is the first time I've had a Fitbit, and I like it. Um, I primarily got it because I wanted to keep track of my heart. Because I, I have heavy, heavy anxiety and stress. Like, I, I have it 24-7 literally for no reason most of the time. And I've never been able to find anything to, like, help it. So I figured that this would be... A good thing to get just because then I can actually look at my heart rate and do like the little uh, the little test thing to check for irregularities just to make sure that just to make sure that I'm actually fine you know have that peace of mind like if I can get visual confirmation from something like this to say like yeah dude your heart's cool you're fine then then it'll help with the uh, reducing the anxiety so that's why I ended up getting it Oh my gosh. I'm back here. You're at 110, so you need one to make sure you're not dying. Oh gosh, 110. That's crazy. That's a really high resting heart rate. That's crazy. I think mine if I'm if I'm calm and not stressed at all, then my heart rate rests at like 72 or 75 or something if I'm like if I'm really stressed then it rests at like 85 so depending on how stressed I am it, it fluctuates like 10 and if I'm having like a, an anxiety attack then it sits at like a hundred just greedy I have an extra heartbeat now and again Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, Huntress. Yeah, I can't remember what that's called, but I know what you're talking about. I have a uh, business. I just keep forgetting to get more of it. I used to use it, though, and it, it worked out pretty good for me. I liked it. Oh, it's midnight. That explains it. Oh, that's right, Huntress. That's right. My uh, my cat's got a heart murmur as well. Oh, gotcha, TTV. Gotcha. Didn't we all, though? <laughs> The whole, the whole like uh, 2020 and 2021, I think quite a few of us gained a little bit throughout that period. I know I did, but it probably didn't help that I also like had a kid at the same time. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm probably not going to be able to stream for any longer. I've got the AC fully cranking right now, and because it's so hot outside. It's not cooling down at all, and the, the PC is just heating up the room even more. So I'm probably going to have to call it here as much as I want to continue on. Uh, it's just not the type of day to stream the entire day. I might do a late night stream, though. Uh, there's a possibility I might do like a 6 or 7 p.m. stream once the room is cooled down a bit more. I'll just run the AC all day and see how cool I can get it in here. But uh, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all being here, and uh, we'll be back either later today or tomorrow. Peace.